This is going to be called the Foggy Bubble Experiment, uh, by, brought to you by uh, Julio, Marissa, and Misha. Okay, so technically what our experiment is going to compose of, we're going to be using one fourth cup dishwashing soap, liquid soap. We're going to be using dry ice. Uh, caution, this is very cold, so make sure you don't make any contact with it uh, to your skin. And uh, dry ice is carbon. It's a solid form of carbon dioxide. We're going to be using approximately six liters of water here. And uh, the second thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be mixing one fourth cup of dish uh, washing soap, liquid soap, to the water. Uh, by the way, make note, there are 250 milliliters uh, within one cup. Now, next, you're just going to mix the uh, water and soap together, like this. Make sure you don't get it on your eye, because I did earlier. Next, what you're going to do is, you're going to grab this ice, and as you can see, this is extremely cold. It uh, actually uh, froze up the water particles in the air around it. As you can see right there in the ground. So make caution, do not touch this, it is extremely cold. Next, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna dump the dry ice inside the water, and you're gonna watch the cool effects of it, or behind it. As you can see right now, you can see a lot of foam building up. Bubbles. Bubbles. Contain water. Containing uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, as you can see right here, that is the ice underneath the water, uh, mixing with the water, breaking the ice apart making these bubbles right here, which when you burst them, they have uh, carbon dioxide. Pretty cool. Mm. Oh, notice uh, the sound it's making. Sounds like boiling water. Uh, also, make note, I said do not come to contact with it, and I did. It burns. A lot. So I would advise to use uh, gloves. Which I did not use. Another thing, uh, notice the sound it's gonna make whenever I do pick it up. It's that cold. Okay, it's up against the metal. And I'm gonna put it back down. Okay, uh, now this, this might be something you see very often uh, during Halloween. You might yourself do it in Halloween. So, I guess in some ways it can't be. used in baking light. So as you can tell from this experiment, we used dry ice, which is a solid form of carbon dioxide, and added, to, added it to water that contains liquid dish soap. As you can tell, it reacted with water as soon as it came in contact with it. Some of the safety measures we should have used was gloves and goggles. As you recall, Julio said that he got soap in his eyes. One thing you guys should have noticed was the end product was that the, bulb, the bubbles contained fog in them and that the dry ice was a solute that got dissolved in the water. This experiment was fun and easy to do. You could use it in your daily life such as for projects or for Halloween which is coming up soon. Hope y'all enjoyed our, pro our experiments. Thank you. <laughs> I would like that. No way. <laughs> We're ed editing that part out though. Okay. Cool. 
So now we're just filling up the bucket or the container with water. Regular water. You should also make note there is a dead mosquito inside <laughs> the water. And there's an ant. Wait, are you getting my legs too? Rich and I want to take dead animals away from the water. That's pretty, pretty gross. Okay. Use tongs. Okay, now we're gonna use the tongs to shank it. Like in that movie Friday. I couldn't. This is really hard. This is really hard. 